Areas like these will be the central focus of electioneering as service delivery and development take center stage. And residents too will raise a number of challenges. 41-year-old Zanele Jali is a mother of five and three grandchildren. She is unemployed and is a TB patient. Today, she became a recipient of a house as she told President Zuma about her hardships. It was a disaster. The house was leaking and there are plenty of us living in the same small house. Service delivery like this that President Zuma once highlighted as the country nears a 20-year anniversary. Addressing ANC supporters in Folweni, he said there are challenges, but much more has been achieved. There are many people who speak on behalf of the ANC and who say all things, including to say that the ANC has not been able to deliver. We want to report. We are going to be all over the country reporting very specific things. What we have done since 1994, that is a message with the ANC caters, the volunteers must carry so that people must see what we have done to the mandate that they gave us in 1994. Addressing another gathering in Umlazi, he warned supporters against being fooled by mushrooming parties. He said the ANC remained the only hope for transforming the country. Zuma also interacted with supporters in Mandeni and Watuguza, urging people to register for the upcoming elections next year. The election campaign may not have officially started yet, but the election fever is already gripping the country, and the ANC has made it clear it will leave no stone unturned in telling its achievements of the past 20 years. Mzwande Limbeche, SAPC News, Durban.